Hey, this is Jeff. In this video, we're going to give you a demonstration. Lots of times, the most common vehicle accident with entrapment is actually a, a family-sized car with entrapment with a vehicle found to be in, uh, on its wheels. And in saying that, we're going to give you a demonstration on how to perform extrication quickly with a vehicle that's rested on its wheels with entrapment. You'll see that we're in this video uh, simply performing the extrication operation with, with the patient care depending on additional personnel. We're going to perform this task with three rescuers and in having a successful extrication often is going to depend on having the proper equipment, a good skill set which is acquired from training and experience, and an adequate amount of firefighter availability to perform the manpower needs that's going to be need to be filled. Jason's going to speak to you now and let's take a look and hear what he has to say. Hi, this is Jason Whitby, Georgia Fire Rescue Supply. We're here today to make a video on somewhat the uh, idea that's kind of been lost along the way. It's the Platinum 10. It's the first 10 minutes of the golden hour. It's uh, how we're going to go and perform an extrication on a call as uh, severe entrapments or uh, severe injuries to the occupants so we can rapidly make access for the patient and also remove the patient within 10 minutes. Some of the skill sets that you'll see here can vary and uh, we also at Georgia Fire Rescue supply, supply the equipment but also training to be able to achieve these type of techniques.
Take the door, take the door, take the door, make the door.
So just a few closing remarks. You've seen that we were able to accomplish a good bit in the 10 minute mark with three firefighters on this particular vehicle. It's something that's a, a goal that should be set on all your extrication scenes. If you have a vehicle that's with entrapment resting on its wheels, it, let's set that goal and be practicing and training toward a completed extrication operation within 10 minutes. Let's reinstate the Platinum 10 as we did years gone by. Let's remember the goal is to get these people the life-saving uh, efforts that they're going to need, which includes being in an operating room during that golden hour. Let's work on our skill sets. Let's make sure that we've got the proper equipment and the proper training and we're sending the proper resources to these scenes in your community. If you have any questions or would be interested in us helping you in training to achieve these skills, give us a call, 866-479-5495. And as always, check us out on Facebook and we're on the web at georgiafirerescue.com. Thank you for your time watching this particular video presentation. We'll catch you down the road. Several different brands of life-saving equipment were utilized during the production of this video. Those different uh, manufacturers are the following.